ordered breakfast here at Quinn's. Do you want your eggs sunny side or flipped over? You always know it's a good cafe. I mean, Scottish favourite. All that pudding. It's definitely a five out of five for me. back to Edinburgh's Zones Guide guys. In today's video guys I am at a local cafe in Edinburgh called Quinn's Cafe. Now why am I here at Quinn's Cafe today on this beautiful sunny day in Edinburgh? It's like 23 degrees today and I should have wore shorts but I never. So we're here today to try out their menu. We're going to get a breakfast off them guys, a big uh, full Scottish breakfast off them today guys. We're going to look at their menu and I'm going to take you guys with us. Uh, they have been voted TripAdvisor's number one cafe in Edinburgh. So today I'm here to review the food to make sure they are number one in Edinburgh guys. But I'm going to take you guys with us and we're going to can try out the food guys so if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications let's go step one wake up really gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you step three you grow hard about what you want to be step four everybody just do your thing wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick. One thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every. Hey, so what can I do for you, Paul? Uh, can I get the full Scottish breakfast, please? Yeah, of course. Um, any drink for you, Paul? Uh, can I get a tea, please? Tea. Just breakfast tea or any flavoured? Uh, just breakfast tea. Just please. breakfast tea, Paul. And a uh, Coke Zero, please. Coke Zero. Um, your Scottish breakfast, you want your eggs sunny side or flipped over? Thank you very much guys, take care. Flipped over please. Flipped over, Paul. So Scottish breakfast, a tea and a Coke Zero. Perfect, Paul, I'll get that Thank you. Okay guys, so I've just ordered breakfast here at Quinn's in Edinburgh. Now, for a full Scottish breakfast, it's £9. Uh, I've showed you the menu there, uh, so make sure you have a look. Uh, you can also get a full breakfast, you can get a small breakfast if you have children. Uh, the menu has got quite a lot on it. So we're going to try out a full Scottish breakfast, guys. And we're going to mark it out then and let you guys know how the food is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So, wow. On your plate, you've got your tatty scone. Yeah. Link sausage, bacon, this is your lawn sausage, got your slice sausage, okay? Black pudding, haggis, egg, roast beans, mushrooms, sauce here, salt, pepper, Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you For a full Scottish breakfast, you get all this for £9. Uh, the tea is separate, uh, Coke Zero is also separate, but for what you get, it looks good. So guys, take a closer look. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the sh** you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't be 
So guys, what do you think of the breakfast? So this costs £9 and it looks amazing, it looks fresh, freshly cooked. Uh, so we're going to try it out. So guys, what do you think of the breakfast? Yeah, it looks so the most important thing, taste test. So let's try it. You get that butter. So the butter is not pre buttered, so you can butter it yourself or you don't need to butter it. Okay. Scottish favourite. Black pudding. Let's try it. Nice. What I do love about this cafe is everything is so nicely presented. Like it's not just chucked on a plate, but it's nicely presented like you would be sitting in a restaurant where everything is like all in one place. It's not just like everything's lobbed on top of each other. So that's what gives it its uh, special a special feature, if you must say. Uh, so definitely another thumbs up for me. And just to note, you always know it's a good cafe when they put the beans separate because you might not like your beans on top of everything, plus it makes everything soggy. So definitely another thumbs up guys is keep your beans separate. That is the most important thing ever, so that's definitely a thumbs up. So, let's tuck in. And my Scottish favourite, that is gone. Can you come to Scotland, Edinburgh, and they'll get a breakfast, but that is gone on it. Delicious. I mean, I might just keep coming here now instead of cooking breakfast at the house because I tell you what, this is a beautiful breakfast. I even have some sort of box. If you walk further down, they made things closer to an underground tour, like old Edinburgh. Um, you've got St Giles Cathedral, you've got John Knox's house, Thomas's Museum of the Road from there, further down is Hollywood Palace. I mean, and you've got well, well, uh, there was a conversation uh, with a guest, and that is definitely a Park, five star in my book. He's taken time to speak to people. Um, to give them advice, where to go, bottom, directions, whatever advice you need, just ask him. His name's Michael, so come in, have a breakfast, um, whatever, even a cup of coffee, he doesn't mind. So and just have a nice chat, bottom, well, he's definitely a nice guy, so that's definitely a 5 out of 5 on my book as well. So guys, we're just finishing up the breakfast here, uh, and once I finish up, we'll get the bill and we'll check it out. So this is Michael, the owner. Of Quinn's uh, Cafe, am I pronouncing that right? Quinn's yeah, Cafe? Yeah. He's going to tell you a bit more about the, his cafe. Hi guys, um, Quinn's opened the 27th of August um, 2020, obviously a couple of months into the pandemic. I used to be a hospitality manager for Harps and Elliot, which is Scottish rugby, um, but obviously due to the pandemic we all got let go. Um, I opened this place, um, it's just me, myself, and girlfriend Tracy that opened it. And just one part timer. Now we've got a couple of staff. Um, obviously, we're open seven days, eight till half two. Um, it is picking up now, but obviously last year we had to close down um, January to the 26th of April. Um, as I say, it was just me that used to do Monday to Friday. Now we've got a staff member in to help me um, during the week and two at the weekend. Um, what can people expect when they come into Quinn's Cafe other than just getting food? Warm, friendly service. Um, basically, people call me a tourist information. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of which is a very, very good a five star in yeah. my book because a lot of places you go to uh, just 
to come in, take your money, you eat, you leave. Yeah. There's no an interaction, yeah. and that's definitely, definitely what places should be like. Yeah. Uh, giving directions, yeah. asking how people how they are helps yeah. a lot in a, a customer service point yeah. of view. Yeah. So definitely, again, that's a definitely a five, five on my book. Five. Basically, just treat my customers how I want to be treated. Yeah. If I was somewhere I wasn't sure where to go or anything like that, give them directions and just make sure they're comfy and they enjoy enjoy the food, that's, that's the main thing, you know what I mean? So guys, this is Michael here at Quinn's Cafe, guys. So if you're coming here, make sure you check the place out and give this guy a hello. Uh, and uh, that's all you ask for. Yeah, it's basically yeah, yeah. To be so people come so in, come in for food. a coffee, come in for a breakfast, but definitely guys, I'm gonna leave all this guy's details in the link, uh, description below. So definitely check him out. I've linked to uh, TripAdvisor also in the description below, so you can check out the reviews online. And if you do come in and uh, try out his food, make sure you leave a, an honest review online, guys, of how your experience is here at Quinn's Cafe. But thank you very much, no Michael, problem. for thank you. hospitality today. No and thank you very much. Hi, guys. So we just came out of Quinn's Cafe in Edinburgh there, and I've got to say, it's definitely a five out of five for me. Uh, so here's the receipt guys I'll put it on the screen for you guys to have a look at just now so it was £9 for the breakfast a cup of tea was £1.80 and it was £2.30 for the juice in total guys it was £13.10 now I know a lot of you will be thinking right now or put in the comments below and go oh, £9 for a breakfast is pretty expensive but just remember guys the cost of living has went up quite a lot now you've got electricity food costs I mean, I think £9 can be justified uh, here in the heart of Edinburgh. Now, look where we are. The castle is just here and Quinn's Cafe is just a one minute walk just up to the left hand side of me. I mean, you can't beat the location where uh, this cafe is. Uh, and you would definitely pay some more in some places as well. But as you can see there, guys, you're getting more than just a breakfast. You're getting a can, the customer service is outstanding. Do you know what I mean? You don't go to a place and they offer you tourist information and where to go. You can ask Michael anything, the owner, and he'll tell you. He's a very, very polite gentleman and definitely go and try Quinn's Cafe out in Edinburgh, guys. So guys, I'm going to end the video there. There's not much more to say other than uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications. But I'll see you in the next one. Take care.